Hey, what's up, team folks? It's Bobo. So today I'm back with another video. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're killing the goals because today I'm actually doing top five graphics card you can get for under a hundred dollars something to keep in mind guys is actually that these graphics cards are actually going to be used hardware so you can get these graphics cards at any store or website that sells used hardware and it will be possibly for under a hundred dollars personally i recommend ebay but it's it's your source you can use craigslist you can you can use physical stores that you can drive to so it's it's up to you where you buy these cards from but personally i recommend ebay and with that out of the way let's get this video started all right guys so before i start this video make sure to leave a like and comment down below whether you like amd more or nvidia more the best comment will get a shout out on my next video which is on monday and with that out of the way let's just get started all right guys so coming up at number five we've got the geforce gtx 560 so the reason I added this code to the list is actually that it supports SLI and if you're not familiar with it it's basically to get two graphics cards to run together at the same time and make them share their powers so you will get a much better performance than what you would if you were to run just one graphics card. This graphics card is selling for just $30 on eBay meaning if you were to get two of this graphics card you'll be left out with the best and cheapest SLI bridge you can get that's capable of 1080p gaming so if you're into SLI and you don't have a big budget the GTX 560 will be the car just for you. Coming up at number 4 we've got the Asus GT1030 from Nvidia so this card has actually got 2GB of GDDR5 memory which is the minimum standards for gaming nowadays and it's also got a silent heatsink and a low profile look. But the only downside is that this graphics card is actually meant for esports gaming only, meaning you will not be able to run newer games like Player Known Battlegrounds and all of that stuff. But you can still run like CSGO and Overwatch and Minecraft, maybe some League of Legends, and you can also still run some older titles like GTA 5 and and rocket league so you can you can you can still have fun with this graphics card all right guys so coming up number three we've got the vga g4 gtx 750tr so through the years i've always looked up at this card because it is absolutely a beast and before the gtx 10 1050tr came out all of the budget gaming builds included this card and most of the pc builders and gamers actually bought this card and it was their number one choice and for that this graphics card deserves to be on this list this graphics card is absolutely a beast in my opinion i just love it it's one of my personal favorite i just love this card this card has got two gigabytes of gddr5 memory and it only takes power from the motherboard so it doesn't need power from the power supply which is great and i've seen a lot of people get this card used from people for as low as 50 dollars so if you have a pre-built computer without a graphics card you can just like stick this one in and it will turn into a gaming pc like that easy and coming up number two we've got the vga g4 gtx 950 super clock gaming graphics card man this card is absolutely a beast it will beat up the shit out of the gtx 750ti i've always considered this card to be high-end graphics card so i'm really surprised to find it for as low as 75 dollars on ebay which is just so fucking great um one more thing about this card it it only takes power from the motherboard meaning it will not need power from the power supply which is also great and it doesn't make it doesn't take a lot of power but it gives you a huge performance so you can play most of the AAA games most of the newer games on 1080p with high settings and on 60 fps most of the time so yeah i really recommend buying the scott first and then you can look at the gtx 750tr if you couldn't find this one for under a hundred dollars all right guys so coming up at number one we've got the radeon r9 270x so this card is actually the best card on this list for a reason because this card is actually the clone of the gtx 
960 Ti, which is a powerful card, but this card is more powerful in my opinion. I love this card. I'm actually surprised to find this card for exactly $96, which is just so fucking weird. If you if you ever stumble upon one of these cards, make sure to jump on it and buy it because this card is really powerful and you can you can do some serious gaming with this card. And, but the only downside is this card actually needs power from the power supply so if you have a good power supply you can run this card perfectly and one more thing that I love about this card is that it supports SLI so if you were to buy the GTX 560 and this card you can mix them together and you can also buy two of this card and then you will get a powerful gaming PC and unstoppable gaming PC so yeah this goes wrap up today's video hope you enjoyed I had a blast filming this video I'm sorry if I tripped too much because it really was a hot day here and I cannot turn the AC on because it will make a noise for the microphone and my microphone is already so bad so please make sure to drop a like because I'm really sweating my balls in here and make sure to comment down below whether you like AMD more or Nvidia more also make sure to subscribe because I'm on my way to a thousand subscribers and all help will be appreciated and with that being said I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye